Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I, as Robin said, I'm just going to speak very briefly about the Battlefield Trust, who we are and what we do. Um, the Trust is a national charity. We were founded some 15, 16, 17 years ago, initially as a pressure group to protect battlefields from unwanted development. The Trust itself sprang out of a campaign to protect the Civil War battlefield at Naseby, threatened development at that time. No, we still do that. We are very active in making sure that people do not develop on battlefields, certainly not without proper archaeological investigations. But our activities have expanded quite a lot over the years. We do a lot in the field of research and investigation into battlefields, uh, the battles themselves, and the historical context in which the battle sits. Probably the most high-profile project that we uh, that we've been involved in and that we that we that we ran was the project a few years ago when the correct location of the Battle of Bosworth was found by an archaeologist called Glenn Ford. We still consider um, that we still continue to uh, to research into battlefields. And battlefields of all periods, not just the Civil War, we go right back uh, as far as, uh, as we possibly can. We are at the moment running a project at Carum. Now, most people have never heard of the Battle of Carum. The Battle of Carum was 1018, probably. Might have been 1016, but uh, 1018 would probably be advised. The 1000th anniversary coming up, and that is the battle which settled the eastern border between England and Scotland as being at the tweak. So we're working on that at the moment. There's going to be research done there, uh, archaeology, all sorts of things. So we're, we're, we're heavily involved in that type of thing. We do a lot on uh, to inform people about battlefields. We are involved in producing leaflets, and particularly in producing information panels. Sometimes you go to battlefields, you'll see information <coughs> boards that will give maps and tell you what happened. Um, you will find that we have either um, supported or created a lot of those around the country. Sometimes they're produced by local battlefield societies, and we support them, we help them with research, or we may give them some money towards it. Other times we do the whole thing. We've just, for example, produced um, a leaflet for the battlefield of Homerton Hill near Wooler in Northumberland. That is uh, just about to, uh, to go to press. We've been working on that for two or three years. Promotion is another thing we do. I think on our little thingy there, we have, um, I can't read without my glasses on, I think it says promoting our battlefield heritage. We do a lot in the field of promotion. So taking part in events like this and projects of the sort that Robin's talked about. Um, we do battlefield walks all over the country. The Trust is organized into seven regions. And each region runs a program of walks around battlefields in this particular area. And we also do a lot of talks. We talk to, um, to various local history societies and other membership groups. We also give public talks. I, for the last three or four years, have given uh, a regular series of talks for Time and Weir Museums at various locations, Segedunum, uh, Southfields Museum, back at Segedun in the autumn to do another series of talks. Um, so we, we do a lot on that front as well, trying to, uh, to raise the profile. And then finally, education is an area that we're very keen on. We, uh, we like to, and I mean education in the sense of both adult and young people education. I particularly am uh, very keen on promoting battlefields, battlefield heritage in their historical context to young people. Because if we do not do that, then I wonder who is going to be sitting in a room like this or working for the Battlefields Trust or whatever in 20, 30 years' time, because I'm sure I won't be. Uh, we're engaging increasingly with schools, and some of you may know, those of you who perhaps are teachers or, or, or um, have children or grandchildren, will know that the history curriculum, particularly at Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3 <coughs> for history, changed quite dramatically in last September, and a lot of periods of history which have maybe been a little bit neglected are now coming back into play to be studied. 
And that includes the English Civil War, the War of the Three Kingdoms, as I think that's supposed to call it these days, uh, or the Wars of the Roses, which I absolutely refuse to call the Wars of the Cousins, whatever bit of a Gregory may think. Um, and also the, um, the earlier period after the conquest. So it, it's no longer <coughs> Romans, Tudors, Victoria, Hitler, which is largely what it has been for so many years. So we're engaging more and more with schools. Um, in fact, on Thursday of this week, two days ago, I took the whole of Otterburn First School, which comprises 38 children, on a walk around the battlefield at Otterburn, which I'm sure many of you will know was Henry Hotspur, Harry Hotspur, fighting against Lord James Douglas in 1388. Fascinating battlefield. Uh, I walked the whole school around the battlefield, and then uh, in the playground afterward, gave them a demonstration of various medieval weaponry, which they liked, particularly the boys, who liked large swords and halberds and, and things like that. So uh, we had a great time. And uh, we're doing more and more of that to, uh, to engage with kids. That really is what we do. Um, we are a membership organisation. I should have said we are an almost entirely voluntary organisation. We do have one part-time employee funded by Historic England, um, and we do a lot of work with Historic England, particularly in connection with uh, the more important battlefields, which figure on their register of battlefields. But other than that, we are an entirely voluntary organisation. Um, we do have um, a members magazine, which is particularly good for those who are interested in battles and battlefields, which we provide to members four times a year. So if anybody is interested possibly in thinking about joining the Battlefields Trust or just finding out more about us, you will find on the back uh, some Battlefields Trust leaflets. And the principal benefit of those leaflets, it will give you the address of our website. You go look at our website, it will tell you all about us and you can even join on the website, which I'm sure you're only rushing home to do later this afternoon. Um, that's really it. But the other thing I didn't say, actually, sorry, is where I fit into the organisation. I should have said that first. Um, I'm the Director of Operations for the Battlefields Trust, so I'm nominally responsible for the Trust operations nationwide, and I'm also the Chairman of the North East and Borders Region, until I can find someone else silly enough to take it over for me. Mm. But, um, that's really it, Ron, so um, that's the Battlefields Trust. Thank you very much, everyone. <coughs> <coughs>